Smart procurement practices are vital for businesses in any industry to ensure operational efficiencies and a healthy bottom line. Simply put, procurement refers to all the procedures and tasks involved in acquiring necessary goods and services from the third parties. This could include anything from office supplies, furniture and enmities to heavy machineries, cons and so on. Through this course, we will learn all the fundamental aspects of procurement management and the different steps involved in this process. We will also see how procurement management software can easily handle all the significant functions of procurement management, such as purchase orders, vendor management, invoice approval, contract management, etc. So put on your thinking hats and let's get started with this session on procurement management. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new update or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video for any query or suggestions and I will respond to your comments. Hello, my name is Shantanu Rana. And today I am going to teach you this course on procurement management by great learning. We have all heard about purchasing things. Let's say your company is providing some kind of goods or services. For producing those goods, maybe you need machinery. How are you going to purchase that machinery? That is a part of procurement. If you need office supplies, day-to-day -day regular things, that is also part of procurement. Maybe you need some software, you need to get subscription to some software, some technology in your organization. Is that a part of procurement too? Yes, it is. All these things are nothing but part of different types of procurement within the organization. So when we talk about any organization, procurement management is extremely important. In this particular course, we will be understanding what exactly is procurement, how it is different from purchasing and supply chain management, We'll be understanding the importance of procurement management, the different types of it. We'll also understand what exactly is the software aspect of procurement management. Why do we need to digitize everything? All these things we are going to start from scratch in this particular course. This is a beginner friendly course. So you don't have to worry about anything. As you can see on the screen, these are certain things or topics that we will be discussing in this particular course. We will be starting with the definition of procurement management. There, I'll also be telling you how procurement is different from purchasing and how it is different from supply chain management, that is SCM. Then we'll be understanding procurement management process. What are the different steps involved in this process? Then types of procurement. So there are three types, direct, indirect and services procurement. We'll be understanding more about that with some examples. Then the importance of procurement management roles and responsibility of a procurement manager then project procurement management when we are talking about a particular project within the organization then what exactly is the role of procurement for that particular project we'll be understanding more about it and then at the end of this course we'll be talking about the software aspect of procurement management where i'll be telling you why exactly we need two reasons for digitizing the procurement management process and how exactly what are the different types of softwares we can use and how those softwares can actually make the process very very efficient and effective so we are going to discuss each of these topics one after the other in this particular course so let's get started so let's start this particular course by first of all clearly understanding that what exactly is procurement management in this particular module we will be understanding what is procurement how it is different from purchasing and supply chain management and we'll also see what are the logical steps involved in this process of procurement management. So let's start by understanding the definition of procurement. As you can see on the screen, procurement is nothing but the process of acquiring goods and services from a third party vendor through direct purchasing, competitive bidding or tendering while ensuring timely delivery of the commodities or products with the appropriate quality and quantity. So if you see, there are so many important things over here. Number one, procurement in very simple words is nothing but acquiring goods or services from a third party vendor. Now, how do you acquire those goods or services? Maybe you go for direct purchasing 
or maybe you go for competitive bidding. Now, what is competitive bidding? It's basically where multiple vendors or service providers are allowed to submit offers. And then they compete with each other and eventually select one. So that's what competitive bidding is. And at the same time in procurement, one very important thing is timely delivery. You have to track the delivery of the products or services as well. And two more things that is quality and quantity. You don't have to compromise on that. In whatever quantity you need, in whatever quality you need, there are particular terms and conditions which are set for that. And those will be followed by the vendors for sure. And you will be checking whether that standard is followed or not. All these things overall are part of procurement. So in very simple words, we can say that procurement is the process of acquiring goods or services from a third party vendor through direct purchasing or competitive bidding, where three things you have to keep in mind. Number one, timely delivery, then quality and the quantity of that product or particular service. Now procurement management is responsible for managing all of the processes involved in procuring the products, materials, goods and services required for effective and efficient business operations. You talk about any business. There are so many things which we require. Certain things are uh, not required directly for the manufacturing of the product. Certain things are required directly for the manufacturing of the product such as the machines and certain things are just services such as any software, any technology, all these things are making your business operations efficient, smooth and more effective. Now, how do you manage all of this is nothing but procurement management. Now, identification of needs, sourcing, selection, negotiation, ordering, receiving and payments are all parts of procurement. So if you talk about procurement, it is not just purchasing the stuff. And that is actually the difference between purchasing and procurement that we will be understanding in the second half of this particular module itself. But in general, all the things which are listed over here, that is identification of needs. What exactly is that product or service that your company is uh, actually a uh, company requires? How do you figure that out? That is also part of procurement management. Then sourcing, selection out of all those bids, what exactly are you selecting? Why exactly are you selecting that? compare a competitor analysis between those bids. How do you do all these things? How do you manage all these things? That is part of procurement management, negotiation, then contract signing, ordering, receiving payments. These all things are part of procurement itself. Now let's try to understand what are the different logical steps or order in procurement management this entire cycle. Number one, plan what you need to contract. That is, you need to identify what exactly is the need of the organization or the project. Once you'll understand that this is what we need, this is the product what we need, or this is the service what we need, then you start with the entire process. So number one is plan what you need to contract. The number two is send out your contract specifications to potential sellers or service providers. Then sellers bid for the chance to work with you. The competitive bidding will take place. And then you sign a contract with the best candidate, whatever you like, you do your competitor analysis, you try to analyze everything, the pros and cons of each and every one. And then eventually you select the best candidate and you sign the contract as per your requirements. Then you monitor the job throughout to ensure that the contract is being followed. You need a particular uh, contract in which all the terms and conditions are mentioned. But planning that and documenting that is one thing and that following that, implementing that or executing that is another thing. So you have to ensure that you are actually ensuring all those quality or quantity standards as well, whether the delivery is on time or not. You have to keep a track of all those things. So that is your job to monitor the job throughout to ensure that the contract is being followed. Then you close the contract and complete all paperwork. So that's how this entire process of procurement management actually works. Now let's try to understand because a lot of people have this confusion between these two terms procurement and purchasing. How is procurement different from purchasing? We are simply ordering stuff and then we are making the payment and we are getting the stuff, the product or any service for any organization. How it is different from purchasing? Let's try to understand that. So procurement is a term that describes a set of procedures used to obtain products and services for a company. But purchasing is defined as a set of actions involved in executing a transaction between an organization and its suppliers to buy products and services. So if you talk about purchasing, it is actually a part of procurement 
where you are just getting the stuff by making the payment. But there are so many things which are actually involved in procurement. So in general, in very simple words, we can say that procurement is actually a broader concept and purchasing is a subset of it. Purchasing refers to the transactional aspects of buying goods and services such as pricing an order, placing an order, tracking it, making the payment. All these things are part of purchasing, the transaction aspect of it. Now, what is procurement? It focuses on strategic aspects such as understanding the business requirements, finding the right supplier, etc. So definitely purchasing is also a part of procurement, but that's not all. These two terms are definitely interlinked. Purchasing and procurement are definitely interlinked, are linked to each other, but are not interchangeable. These are two different terms and cannot be used with one another interchangeably. So procurement is more about the strategic aspect of purchasing any order, purchasing any uh, product or service and purchasing is more about uh, the transactional aspect of buying the product or service. So in purchasing things like placing an order, tracking it, making the payment, these things are involved and in procurement, understanding the business requirements, identification of the needs, finding the right supplier, all these things are actually involved. Now procurement gives more importance to value creation. However, purchasing focuses more on the cost of the order because it is just related to placing an order, tracking it and making the payment. So definitely in purchasing, the most important part is the cost of the product. But in procurement, we have to understand the business needs, the identification of the needs, everything is done and that is more of value creation. Now similarly, let's try to understand the difference between procurement management and supply chain management, which is also known as SCM. Now procurement is the act of obtaining the goods and materials that your company needs or requires while supply chain management is the process of converting those things into products and distributing them to customers as smoothly as feasible. So if you talk about entire product life cycle management, there is any product that your company is actually manufacturing, the manufacturing, how you distribute it into the market, all of these things are part of supply chain management. But in procurement, we are just talking about acquiring the goods or services from a third party vendor. That is procurement. But how are you going to distribute that into the market? How are you going to you know, use that particular acquired product in making the market ready version of it? That is all part of supply chain management. So in procurement, we are just talking about acquiring the goods or services. And in supply chain management, we are talking about all the processes of converting that acquired good into a market ready version into product and distributing it into the customer, into the market as smoothly, efficiently as possible. So that's it. That is what procurement management is all about. I hope you have understood what is procurement management, what exactly is the difference between procurement and supply chain management and procurement and purchasing. All right. So now we have understood that procurement is not just about purchasing goods and services. It is much more than that. It is not just a buzzword. It is also about value creation. We have understood that procurement management is also about identification of the needs of the business. What are the requirements of the business? We also have to find the best supplier. All these things are also included in procurement management. So let's try to understand this logical order that we have to follow when we are talking about procurement management for any business, for any organization. So these are some of the steps which are involved in this procurement management process. So we start with specification and planning where we actually plan that what exactly is the product or the service that we need. Then we also see what exactly is the specification of that product that we'll require. Then identification and selection of suppliers where we will be identifying different suppliers and then we will be selecting the best out of those by understanding their pros and cons. Then placing the purchase order. Now in placing the purchase order, we sign the contract, we set the terms and conditions. Then expediting, then receipt and inspection of purchase. Whatever quality standard you want, whatever timely delivery you want, all those things you will be inspecting and then you will be making the payment. Invoice clearing and payment will be done after that. And then finally, you will be maintaining records for referring in your future projects. Let's try to understand each of these steps in much more detail. So as you can see, the very first step we discussed is specification and planning. So it's about establishing what services and goods you'll be requiring, whether you can get it internally 
or you can get it externally. Let's say if you need a particular product or a service. Now can you get that particular product within the organization or you need to actually get it from a third party vendor. That is something which will be part of this planning. Then you will be seeing okay this is the product I need or this is the service I need. Now what exactly are the specifications for that particular product. Let's say you are in the construction industry. So you will understand that okay for this particular project I require these many bricks. Now what is the grade of those bricks that will be part of specification. Then forecasting based on existing data whatever data you already have if you have already done a similar kind of project similar kind of work you can forecast that what will be requirement of the business and then you can plan accordingly. So the very first step is planning what you need and then identifying the specification of that product or service. Once that is done we move to the second step which is identification and selection of suppliers. So here you do your research you do your homework as an organization and you identify the potential suppliers for that particular product or service which you require. Then you do the comparison to analyze the pros and cons of each supplier. You see who is that supplier who will meet your requirements the best and then you select the best candidate out of all those service providers. You analyze based on various criteria such as cost, delivery time, safety, service, support, quality control etc. That completely depends upon the kind of product you need or the kind of service you need and the type of business that you have. Based upon your requirements you will be finding which exactly is the best supplier for you by understanding the pros and cons of different suppliers. Then you place the purchase order which is the third step in this process. So the proposal requesting and negotiation is definitely a part of this third step then setting terms and conditions and finally signing the contract and making the deal that okay this is the supplier I have selected and we are going to purchase that particular product or service from this supplier you sign the contract and that is done. But then we have three more steps the fourth one is expediting where you regularly meet with the vendors or you uh, regularly attend meetings with that vendors and you do the careful delivery tracking at what stage the delivery is at where is your order uh, right now you have to be in contact with the vendor throughout this entire process then receipt and inspection of purchase you cannot just order and then get the order you have to review each and everything you have to see the quality standards you have to see the quantity standards whether those are meeting the terms and conditions which were set or not if those are meeting good to go if those are not meeting then you will have to talk to the vendor again and you have to make sure that they are following the quality and quantity standards and the timely delivery of the orders as well. So in receipt and inspection step we generally talk about review of all orders against established specifications and quality and quantity standards. Then invoice clearing and payment once everything is good to go you have done your inspection then you make the payment after proper inspection of the orders. And then last but not the least is maintaining records. Now why maintaining records is very important. Number one you can retain proper records for audit tax information later on and uh, product warranty. So that will be very handy then give feedback to the supplier because definitely if you are again going to purchase any product or service from that particular supplier it will be helpful for both the parties. And then last is identifying the areas of improvement for future projects. So if you will maintain a record definitely you will know that okay these are the mistakes that you have done. These were the uh, strengths in that particular process so you can implement the same strengths in the next project and you can work on the areas of improvement. So these are the major steps which are involved in this process of procurement management. Alright so now we have understood what exactly is procurement or procurement management. It is time for us to understand in detail that what are the different types of procurement that we have in the business. You talk about any company any organization there are three main types of procurement that are always involved that is direct procurement indirect procurement and services procurement. In very simple terms when we are talking about direct procurement it involves purchasing the goods and services which are used as a raw material for manufacturing the end product of the company and when we are talking about indirect procurement. This involves the regular office supplies and other stuff. Then when we are talking about services procurement it is about any technology subscription softwares that your company or organization is going to use. Let's try to understand each of these types with some examples. 
The number one, as I told you, is direct procurement. It involves the purchasing of raw goods or you can say products or services for the manufacturing of end products. For example, raw materials and machinery which will actually be used in manufacturing the end product of the company. So those are part of your direct procurement and managing all those processes will be direct procurement management. Then second is indirect procurement. It involves purchasing regular goods and services for the internal use of the company. You talk about any regular day to day office supplies, all those things will be part of indirect procurement because these are not directly used in manufacturing the end product of the company, but these are used indirectly to that thing because it will make your business processes smoother, efficient and more effective. So this is about indirect procurement. The last but not the least is services procurement. So it involves the procurement of goods and services to make processes easy and efficient. This type of procurement is usually for short terms. So if you talk about direct procurement, that is generally for long term. But when we are talking about services procurement, this is generally for short term and it is about acquiring the goods and services so that we can make the processes easier, efficient and effective. For example, any software subscriptions that will be part of services procurement. So these are the three main types of procurements that we have that is direct, indirect and services procurement. All right. So now we have understood all the basic concepts related to procurement management. But why do we really need to study about procurement management in general? What exactly is the advantage that the company is getting by managing the procurement? Is it only for larger organizations or small organizations are also getting some kind of benefit by managing the procurements? So if you generally talk about big companies, there is a different department for procure procurement management which is head by the CPO or chief procurement officer. And there's a team working under CPO, which will be collaborating with the finance accounts or maybe operations team. But in the smaller organizations, generally there is no different department for procurement management. However, it is managed by the finance accounts and operations team by collaborating with each other and everything is managed in that way. But overall, why it is extremely important for any company, any business to manage the procurements. So there are so many benefits that a company can actually get. Now this benefit is not just related to the profitability in terms of monetary benefits, but also in terms of making the processes easier, smoother, effective and efficient and overall increasing the productivity of the people. Now how all of that is possible by procurement management, that is something we will be exploring in this particular module. As you can see on the screen, point number one is that procurement management ensures that all products and services are produced correctly, allowing projects to run smoothly. If all the processes are not managed correctly, are not managed at all, definitely the process will not be efficient and overall the productivity of the entire project, the people uh, involved in that project will eventually decrease. So in order to get profitability, definitely uh, procurement management is extremely important. Then second point is that procurement more than a business need or necessity can be used to gain a competitive edge if it is optimized to save money, time and resources. Now this is also extremely important to understand. When we are talking about procurement management, generally we talk about procurement as a business need that each and every business, small companies or big companies will need procurement management eventually. But more than a business need, it can actually provide any company a competitive advantage, a competitive edge among the competitors in the market space. Now, how is that possible? Because if you can manage your procurement, definitely you can save your money, time and resources, which can give you a competitive edge. Then procurement management helps in avoiding delays and errors. We can also ensure that we get the correct quality and the correct quantity for any particular order. So that is also one benefit we will be getting with procurement management. The last but not the least is that by procurement management, we can actually seek diverse suppliers and we may that may play a significant role in pioneering corporate social responsibility, which is also known as CSR in diversity and inclusion. So definitely if you will proactively seek diverse suppliers, that will definitely go towards CSR or corporate social responsibility in terms of diversity and inclusion. 
So these are some of the benefits or importance that you will be getting if you have proper procurement management for your organization. So in this particular module, we will be talking about procurement manager. This is quite a complex role. Being a procurement manager is definitely not an easy job because at some point of time, everybody will need something from you and it will be your job to do all the analysis, evaluations, understanding the RFP or ROI and making the strategies which will be aligned with the business objectives. So it is definitely a very challenging and at the same time quite underappreciated job. But with time things has changed and the role of procurement manager is actually evolved now. Traditionally procurement manager was just about acquiring goods and services and then making sure that each and everything is smooth. But now companies have realized that procurement management is not just about acquiring goods and services. It can actually provide any company a competitive advantage. They can save a lot of money, time and resources if everything is managed quite efficiently. And that is why the roles of procurement managers are also evolved and are also expanded accordingly. Now procurement manager is also known as purchasing manager in certain companies because the line between procurement and purchasing can be quite blurry at times. And that is why in certain companies we call it procurement manager and in other companies we call it purchasing manager. If we talk about the large companies then procurement is generally handled by a different team altogether where the procurement manager or the purchasing manager will report to CPO that is chief procurement officer and then there's an entire team which will be collaborating with the finance team, the legal team and operations team maybe. But when we talk about these small organizations, sometimes the procurement management team is just a team of one member that is the procurement manager. But with time teams and companies are actually realizing that there is a very important need for any business to have a particular procurement manager who can manage all the processes and make sure each and everything is smooth, efficient and effective. And definitely it can not only increase the productivity of the company but can also provide any company the competitive advantage in the market. Let's try to understand what are some of the most important roles and responsibilities for any purchasing or procurement manager. A procurement manager is in charge of sourcing products and services for their organization. Procurement teams must collaborate closely with the finance, operations, accounts or legal departments. By collaborating, you will be ensuring that an each and every team is on the same page and you can actually get the work done very efficiently. Now the procurement manager role is not just limited to acquiring the goods and services from a third party vendor. It is also about ensuring that each and everything, let's say the delivery is on time or not, whether the quality standards are met or not, whether the quantity standards are met or not, proper evaluation, ROI analysis, RFP management, contract management, inventory management, all these things are also part of procurement management. As you can see in that you have as a procurement manager is to make sure that you do the proper research for the product so that you can decide that what quality you need, what quantity you need and what exactly are the specifications of the product that you will require. It is just like the basic homework for any procurement manager. Then second is inventory management. So inventory management refers to the process of ordering, storing or using or selling company's inventory. That is also part of roles and responsibilities of any purchasing manager. Then optimization of procurement processes. How can you make all these processes very efficient and effective? Tracking of all the deliveries, tracking of all the orders, keeping a track of everything and informing the teams, communicating the vendors, each and everything is again part of procurement manager roles and responsibilities. Then RFP management, RFP is nothing but request for proposal. Then ROI analysis that is return on investment, doing all those analysis evaluations that is also part of procurement manager roles and responsibilities. Then evaluation and selection of suppliers. You will be understanding what exactly are the pros and cons of each and every supplier. And then you will be selecting the best supplier for your business requirements. So doing those evaluations, making lists for pros and cons. That is also a role of a procurement manager. Then managing risk and compliance, negotiating a contract, which can also be in terms of contract management. That is also one very important role. And finally, analyzing the data. So it's also about giving feedback to the supplier once the deal is done. 
and then completing the entire paperwork and then analyzing the data what were the areas of improvement that you can actually make it better for the future projects all those things are definitely roles and responsibilities of a purchasing manager all right now let's talk about procurement management for any particular project which is known as project procurement management so when we are talking about any particular organization and talking about acquiring goods and services there then it is simply known as procurement management but if we need to acquire goods and services specifically for a particular project then it becomes project procurement management now what are the different steps in project procurement management and how actually it is a very essential part of project management overall that is something we will be exploring in this particular module as you can see on the screen that project procurement entails getting all the goods and services required for the project whatever goods and services required for a particular project specifically that is nothing but part of your project procurement management now project procurement management ensures that the processes used in project procurement are successful whatever processes you are using for that particular project in terms of acquiring the goods and services whether those processes are successful or not are efficient or not that is something which is ensured by project procurement management overall we can say that project procurement management is a subset of project management when we are talking about an entire project so if the project is quite huge then sometimes there are separate procurement managers for each and every project but if the project is not that big then sometimes these procurement details are actually handled by the project manager itself as you can see there are three main steps involved in project procurement management that is plan procurement conduct procurement and finally control procurement when we are talking about the planning phase the major outcome of this procedure is a documented procurement management plan which is a subset of the project management plan you talk about any project management how do you manage an entire project procurement is a very very important aspect of it now the outcome of procurement is nothing but a documented procurement management plan that what exactly you need what are the products you need what are the services you need what is the specification of those products or services what is the quality or quantity of those products or services that is something which is the first step that all of this planning is the part of plan procurement once this planning is over then comes the execution phase which is conduct procurement this is the execution or implementation phase it is the time when rfps are released bids are collected and decisions are made that who is the best supplier or the service provider for this particular project selecting analyzing their pros and cons that is the part of conduct procurement rfps that is request for proposals all of these things are handled in this second phase then any vendor negotiations take place during this phase and then the contracts are signed once you have analyzed each and everything you have seen the pros and cons of each and every service provider you will decide that this is the best service provider or supplier for us and you will maintain a long term relationship with them and you will sign the contract by setting the terms and conditions that is what conduct procurement is all about then last but not the least phase is control procurement once everything is executed then a uh, control procurement involves managing conflicts risks changes and status of procurement orders delivery should be on time quality should be correct quantity should be correct all of these things the inspection part is nothing but control procurement where you will be ensuring that all the quality and quantity standards are followed all the specifications which are set in the terms and conditions are followed so that's what project procurement management is all about in very simple words we can say that when we talk about procurement management in a specific project that becomes project procurement management sometimes this is handled by a procurement manager if the project is huge if the project is small it is sometimes handled by the project manager itself it is a subset that is project procurement management is actually a subset of the entire project management now there are three main steps in this first of all you plan the procurement you decide everything the specification of the products and everything the quality and quantity of products and you set the terms and conditions then comes conduct procurement where you actually talk about the execution or implementation of that uh, project management plan or procurement management plan where the bids are collected decisions are made you select the best vendor for you the best service provider for you and you go ahead with that by signing the contract 
and then last but not the least is control procurement where you manage all the conflicts disputes anything uh, related to quality and quantity the inspection part of it so that's how procurement uh, management in a particular project works all right in this particular module we will be understanding that what exactly are the reasons to digitize procurement management what is the software aspect of it why do we need to digitize everything automate everything when we are talking about procurement management what are the different benefits we will be getting with that that is something we are going to explore in this particular module as you can see that manual procurement management plans face the challenges of high processing exp expenses missing documents delayed approval cycles and missing uh, discount opportunities and uncontrolled costs so these are nothing but old disadvantages of doing the procurement management manually what exactly are the disadvantages high processing expenses missing documents delayed approval cycles and in general delay in all the processes inefficient processes then missed discount opportunities and uncontrolled costs so these are some of the main things main issues that we face when we are talking about procurement management in the traditional way in the manual way as a result of this instability supplier relationships suffer because of ineffective dispute resolutions poor vendor management late payments and more because each and everything we cannot keep on track if this is not managed with the help of a software so these are some of the main issues that we face if we go with the traditional way very important thing when we are talking about procurement management is the relationship with the suppliers or the service providers if that relationship is good it will help both the parties the organization as well as the supplier or the service provider but if the relationship is not good then definitely there will be so many issues so many conflicts and disputes that you will have to resolve but if we go with the software definitely a lot of these processes can be made more effective and efficient and it can actually help the organization in a much better way a procurement management software can easily handle all the major functions of procurement management such as purchase order which is also known as po then vendor management inventory management invoice approvals and then contract management inventory management we have already discussed contract all these things can easily be managed with the help of a software so you don't have to keep a track of each and everything in a traditional way you will have a software and all the processes will be automated so that's the beauty of having a procurement management software now procurement automation has a number of advantages including number 1 reduced processing cost and time traditionally if you manage procurement the main issue is high processing expenses but if you have a procurement management software the first advantage that you will be getting is reduced processing cost as well as time there will be no delays then increased productivity enhanced spend visibility you will be able to understand where exactly you are spending how exactly you are spending you will be able to uh, keep all the processes very very smooth that is one advantage then improved spend management we already discussed and then uh, better overall supply chain management so overall this entire process of acquiring the goods and services become much easier and much more efficient and the relationships are also better with the supplier or the service provider if you use a procurement management software all right i'm really glad that you have reached to the summary part of this particular course on procurement management i hope that you have understood all the basic concepts related to procurement management and why it is extremely important for any business not just in terms of getting profitability but also in terms of getting the competitive advantage in the market so let's try to summarize all of what we have discovered in this particular course so we started with the definition of procurement management where we understood that procurement management is responsible for managing all of the processes involved in procuring the products materials goods or services required for effective and efficient business operations in very simple words procurement management is nothing but acquiring goods and services from a third party vendor it can be through direct purchasing or can be through competitive bidding and there are three main things that we have to keep in mind that is timely delivery quality standards and the quantity of the orders that we want for our business requirements and we understood that procurement management is extremely important for any company it is not just for giving the monetary benefits or for making the processes efficient it actually provides any company the competitive advantage in the market space then we understood that there are different steps involved in procurement management process 
first of all we understood about specification and planning where you plan each and everything you understand the business requirements you understand that what product and service is actually required by you you do the research once that is done then you actually understand that what exactly are the specification or the quality quantity of those products and services that you require that is about specification and planning then we understood identification and uh, selection of suppliers we are a lot of suppliers through competitive bidding or direct purchasing you try to analyze you try to analyze the pros and cons and then you select the best supplier or the service provider who will suit your business requirements once that identification and selection of supplier is done then you place the purchase order which is also known as po so in that you set the terms and conditions the quality standards whatever the vendor is supposed to meet you will set all of that so that there is no dispute confusion or conflict later on once that is done then expediting where you will be keeping a track of each and everything you will be meeting the having the regular meetings with the vendors then receipt and inspection of purchase where you will be inspecting whether the quality standards the quantity standards everything is meeting the set terms and conditions or not if there is any mismatch between the set terms and conditions and the actual quality and quantity you will be getting back to the vendor or the service provider and you will be communicating the same to them and then again you will be placing the order for that so all these can be uh, can raise a lot of conflicts as well but as a procurement manager or as a part of the procurement management team it is your duty to resolve those conflicts and make sure each and every process is eventually smooth efficient and effective then invoice clearing and payment once the inspection is done and the products are good to go or services are good to go then you will be clearing the invoices and you will be making the payment once that is done you will be maintaining the record as well so that it can help you for your future project as well as for any tax information or maybe warranty of the product if it is required you can present the same to the same supplier in procurement management one more thing which is extremely important is a good relationship with the supplier because from one supplier you may need things again and again so there are three types of procurement that we have understood direct indirect and services procurement where we understood that direct procurement is more about acquiring goods and services which will directly help in producing the end product of the company for example machinery or any other raw materials in indirect procurement that is more about acquiring these office supplies or day to day normal things which are used for efficient business within the company and in services procurement we understood it is more about acquiring some services which will make the processes efficient and easier such as software subscriptions coming from software we also talked about procurement management software where we understood that all these processes that we have discussed till now that is inventory management contract management rfp management roi evaluations all these things are actually very very easy to do with the help of automated processes such as a procurement management software with the help of a procurement management software all the roles of procurement manager can be digitized and it can make all the processes very very easy and the cost and resources will actually be saved if we use a procurement management software so these are some of the advantages that we have discussed about procurement management software as well now i hope and i am very sure that you have understood all the basic concepts related to procurement management in this particular course thank you so much for attending this course if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet i want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new update or video releases from great learning if you enjoy this video show us some love and like this video knowledge increases by sharing so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues make sure to comment on the video for any query or suggestions and i will respond to your comments